Wearing protective eyewear, insert the capillary guard over the broken capillary, securing it inside the tray. Disconnect the fluid tubing from the sample path, allowing the stabilizing arms to swing upwards and out of the way. Push the metal locking nut against the rotational motor and pull the feeder tube out of the silicon end of the capillary and repeat this process on the other side. Remove the entire tray from its mount in the center of the vast. Avoid touching the glass windows on the tray. Separate the guard from the tray, discarding the broken capillary and rinsing the tray of all debris before installing the new capillary. Holding the capillary by one of the silicon ends, carefully thread the capillary's other end through the channel. Angle the capillary upwards to clear the two positioners in the center of the tray before allowing it to rest against them. Carefully align the far silicon end with the channel and put pressure on the end of the metal collar to push the capillary into its final position. Note that the silicon ends are exposed outside of the tray, the metal collars reside within the channel, and the glass portion traverses the length of the tray resting inside the positioners. Also note the orientation mark at the corner of the tray. This indicates the direction of a stabilizing bend in the capillary which must always be oriented towards the vast camera. Reinsert the capillary guard and gently place it over the capillary and positioners. Move the tray to its mount between the rotational motors, pressing down on the walls gently to secure it in the proper plane. Insert the feeder tubes. Depress the locking nut against the rotational motor and gently push the feeder tube into the silicon end until the metal shoulder rests against the silicon. Reconnect the sample tubing to both ends of the feeder tubes. Position the sample tubing in the stabilizing arm and carefully slide the end of the tubing onto the metal feeder tube as you lower it. After the sample tubing is connected, gently pull the feeder tube away from the center of the capillary, slightly stretching the silicon tubing between the feeder tube and collar. Adjust the tubing so that it produces a straight pathway sitting snugly in the channel of the stabilizing arm. Finally, remove the guard and add a small amount of lubricating sealant at the collars to prevent water from leaking out of the tray. You may want to perform a test rotation to ensure that all mechanisms are working properly before priming and cleaning the new capillary. Before running samples on the VAS system, be sure to store a new empty capillary image and measure its width. You can access these calibrations by right-clicking on the image window within the VAST Bioimager software.